Russia's parliament rubber-stamping the Kremlin's request for permission to send troops into the rebel republics of eastern Ukraine. When they voted, there was no surprise. A unanimous yes. Cue the president. Vladimir Putin continues to keep everyone guessing about his plans. But this sounded like an ultimatum. The best solution would be for the authorities in Kiev to give up their ambition to join NATO and adopt neutrality. But if our so-called partners pump Ukraine full of modern weapons, a solution will become impossible. So the most important thing is that Ukraine should demilitarize. Down at the Russian Foreign Ministry, we detected little desire for compromise and much irritation at the latest round of Western sanctions imposed on Moscow. These sanctions are illegal. We understood long ago that this is the only tool the West has to use against us, to contain us. But does Russia not care that its international reputation in the West is getting lower and lower and your country is seen increasingly as an aggressor? It's you. You are inventing this reputation. Because of your actions, no? You are inventing this reputation for us, but the West's reputation is covered in blood. A shining example of how differently Moscow views the world. The Russian authorities brush aside Western criticism. They claim not to care about sanctions. But this country is facing growing international isolation over the Ukraine crisis. For now, that is a consequence Moscow seems willing to accept. And the Russian people? Geopolitical tension is fueling fear of conflict. We should be worried that all of this could spin out of control, Pavel says. It's very serious. Of course I'm nervous, says Allah. We have sons, husbands. I don't want there to be war. Russians are hoping that those leaders who take the decisions will take the right ones. Steve Rosenberg, BBC News, Moscow.